Hi guys, Neil here with Facelift Interiors. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to upholster some footstools. One of them is square, one of them is round. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to upholster square corners and how to upholster round corners as well. So on the square buffet, I've already foamed it up. So you've seen me do that a million times. But on the round buffet, I'm gonna show you how I foam it up. On the square one, we're gonna seam each corner, which means we're gonna sew all four corners. So I'm gonna show you how you measure out where your seams are gonna fall and how I stitch them up as well because I curve them at the top so not straight seams they curve in like that at the top so it gives you a nice finish so if you like upholstery videos and you like learning upholstery tips and tricks please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel hit that notification bell as well so you'll see every time one of our video becomes live so without further ado this is how to upholster first stool twice action so that is stool number one ready all I need to do is put that cron on there then that is going to be ready to cover. So, stall number two, what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of felt in the middle. And this is the concept we use with dining chairs. When you're doing a dining chair and you want a dome, we normally use a bit of foam. This is only a little stall, so we don't need too much. Only a bit of felt will do. Now, gluing these up, and I'm going to go. That is that foamed up and I've got my three millimeter or quarter of an inch foam. So then we're gluing around the edges, pushing down because there is a dome so it is going to lift. You can see it's just slightly if I wobble that around. So it's not dead flat. I'm just going to let that glue dry for a second. Going around, I'm going to push that down and pull nice and tight because we don't want any gathering. So I can pull that foam nice and tight, pulling up nice and tight. Once the glue is dried, of course, if you try to do this while the glue was still wet, it would not stick. So now we're going to go around with our scissors, cutting off the excess foam. Ta -da! So there is our lovely rounded stool. So we just need Dacron on top of that now. So here's our Dacron, six ounce. I like to begin with the foam. So that is that, all dacroned up. I think what we'll probably do with that, we're gonna get a bit of fabric, pull it over. We're not gonna shape it, we're not gonna put a border on it, we're just gonna cut around a bit of fabric, pull it on, staple it off, and that's gonna do the job. But on this guy, this side's gonna cause issues. What I'm gonna do here, so I'm gonna sew each of these corners. So what I need to do is measure how much fabric I'm gonna need. So this is gonna be a square piece of fabric, 26 by 26. Then, in between the corners is gonna be 14. So we're gonna go 15. So we're gonna cut the corners out and in between the corners, it's gonna be 15 inches. And you will see what I mean. So for now, let's just get the Dacron on it. We're just gonna cut away the excess Dacron like so. Now that is fully ready to be upholstered. Right, so 26 by 26. So I want this pattern in the middle. 26, 26, I'm using my chalk, making sure I'm in the center of the fabric. So now we're gonna go from the center of this pattern again. 26, 26. So remember I said we need to cut it 26 by 26. What I did is I went to the center of this pattern, went 13 up, 13 down. Now, from this pattern, I'm gonna go 13, 13. 
So, and this is how we do four corners. So we know that it is 26 by 26. So on the back, we're gonna mark 13. Top to bottom, 13. Side to side to get our exact center. Mark that way. And mark that way. So now I know that we need to go 15 either side. So seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half, seven and a half. Seven and a half. 15. Okay, so now we need to go this way. But now I know that we need to cut that out, that out, that out, and that out. So we're going to cut them, sew them up, and that should give us perfect seams that sit on the corners. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with these corners. I'm sewing straight up, half an inch away, and I'm just going to curve slightly in towards the top. Then as I come towards the corner, I'm just going to curve it a little bit. So I get a nice finish on the corner, which slightly goes in. I know this is going to be tight getting it on because you want it to be nice and tight. You don't want it to be loose. As you can see, guys, that is on. And there's not much that needs doing to it, really. I mean, the corners sit nicely on. So what I'm going to do is use my hand, rub the fabric down. So then what I'm going to use is my blade, cut this. So I'm just using thinners now get rid of all the excess foam padding just so I can see exactly where my fabric's gonna sit and where my studs are gonna sit. What we're doing now guys we're putting strip studs on just to give the bottom a nice finish. Right, last one. Then we're just gonna put a bomb on, then we're gonna go on to the other one. So now guys, we are on to the second footstool. So this is just round. First of all, I wanna make sure that that pattern is in the middle. So I'm just gonna fire one off into there. So now we have our pattern near enough where we want it. What I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pull down and start stapling round. Pulling the fabric up and just like I do with vinyl, pull it as tight as you can because this fabric is not as forgiving as vinyl. Then I cut off the excess fabric with my blade along the staples, gliding the blade through. So here I've just got a plain bit of bottom in, square piece, cut a hole to pop the dowel through then what I'm using is skewers to mark where the screws have got to go in. So I keep them pushed in so I know where they're going. Because once that bottom's on, you're not going to be able to find them. So it's just easier to keep the skewers in and use them as guides. As you can see, I cut away any excess fabric, fold under what I need to fold under, and then staple off. Now I'm attaching the frame back onto the seat pad. Make sure I line up my screws where I mark them with the skewer and drill in. So here's the finished product. Nice square corners. Put a stud around the bottom as well, some strip studs to tidy up. That is on top. Make sure the fabric's square and the pattern's in the middle. 
And here's the round foot stool. Beautiful. Thanks for watching, guys.